After I posted the last video, um, B Void posted a comment asking about scrolling on the RA8875 because he had a similar experience. So let me show you just um, something of what's going on there with uh, with scrolling or what I found out as I've been messing around today. Um, so if I start off by just generating some, putting some text on the screen and some graphics. So so there are there's hardware scrolling built into this processor. Um, and at first I was thinking that would be great because that's what was going to um, help me implement scrolling the way I wanted it. But in fact, it turns out it's not what, what you want. So um, if I, I'm just using my um, keyboard exerciser over on the side um, to, to type various commands to this thing. So if I set up some a scrolling window, uh, which is using the hardware scrolling facilities and then do some scroll, ask it to scroll, we can so you can scroll the the um, the text and the graphics that are on the screen, and that seems great. That seems like it would be what you want, but in fact, it's not actually terribly useful because what it's doing is it's allowing us to move um, the the material around on the screen very easily. But what we can't then do is to sort of reset the screen to its new um, um, setting here, which is sort of what you want if you want some stuff to scroll off the screen and then you want to be able to use the use use the space that's um, that's been made available. And in fact, you can see here, the stuff that scrolled off the top of the screen has rolled back around um, on, on the bottom. Um, and in fact, if I unset the, the scroll window, what happens is it just goes back to exactly as it was before. So it's moved things around. It's allowed us to um, sort of uh, start the display area of the, of the screen in a different place in memory, but it hasn't really given us the scrolling operation that, that we would want if we're doing text input and so forth. Um, but there is another way to do that. So let me just show you quickly if I um, put some more text on the screen here, just to sort of come to hand, make it a little easier. Um, um, and then I will ask it to uh, scroll up. And there, that's more like what we want a scroll operation to look like. It's taken the material that was sort of on the bottom of the screen, it scrolled it up towards the top and opened up space at the bottom of the screen that new text can go can go into. And so this is working in a different way. What I'm using here are the um, the built-in block transfer operations in the uh, in the RA8875. So you can ask it to use hardware accelerated block transfer to just basically move part of the screen from the bottom to the top, um, and then I use the the, um, the hardware rectangle drawing to just like block to to you know put a big big black block at the bottom of the screen um, to create myself some new space and then move the text cursor around. So um, let me show you this in a slightly different way. If I uh, clear the screen there and go into this different setting, um, this is just one where I can type anything on my um, keyboard and it'll turn up on the turn up on the key on the on the on the screen, which is sort of what you want. Let's move down here more into the middle. Great, blah -de blah -de blah. Just got some nonsense text. Let's move down towards the bottom of the screen. So this software is keeping track of what line we're on um, so that it knows when we get to the bottom of the screen that it's going to be time to scroll. So I enter text on the bottom line and then I, and I hit return, it scrolls up and you know we can continue to enter text just as you might imagine. So that's sort of what I would want my, my software to do if I was using my fourth or I was using a command line interpreter. Now it's going to scroll the way, the way I want it to, but it turns out not to use the scrolling operations, but instead to use the, um, the block transfer. Um, so I think the next thing to do probably is going to be to uh, have a version of my fourth or some other interactive program that uses the visual display um, as its output instead of using the serial port. And that's sort of an important next step towards along the path of this idea of the idea of this being um, entirely self-hosting and not requiring the, uh, the, the serial line input from my from my laptop. Okay, that's all I wanted to show today.